supersonic and subsonic nozzles and diffusers, diffusing some confusing flow behavior. Mr. Continuity, how can I help you? Sir, I don't understand why rocket nozzles expand. Shouldn't the flow be accelerated? Yeah, of course. It's because the flow is supersonic. Can you please explain that, sir? Yeah, I'll share my screen. We have a variable area duct from one to two. We're talking about a compressible gas. We make the uniform flow approximation, and we assume that the flow is steady, isentropic, and adiabatic. Conservation of mass says that rho VA is a constant. It is the same at the inlet and the outlet. We take the total derivative of this equation, the rho VA equals zero, and we split it into three parts. When we divide by rho VA, we get equation two. dA over A plus dV over V plus d rho over rho equals zero. Now we use the first law for steady flow. It's adiabatic. The only non-zero rate of work is the rate of pressure work. We get these two terms at the inlet and the outlet. This integral reduces to these two terms. And by equation one, these four groupings are the same. We simplify to equation three. E plus P over rho is a constant. Now we expand the total energy. E consists of internal, kinetic, and potential energies. We do the same at the outlet. Here's our expanded equation. But this is specific enthalpy at the inlet and at the outlet. For gases, we can ignore potential energy. So our equation reduces to this, where H plus 1 half V squared is a constant. We take the total derivative of that. We get equation 4. dH is minus V dV. Now we use one of the TDS equations, but we made an isentropic approximation, and we plug in equation 4. So we have dP over rho equals minus V dV. Now we apply equation 2. Notice that these two are the same, so we write it this way. Then we get equation 6. dA over A is negative V dV, and 1 minus V squared minus d rho dP. Speed of sound C is defined as this. Here's our equation 6. Since our flow is isentropic, these two are the same, so we get this equation. But Mach number is defined as V over C, so this is Mach number squared. Finally, we get equation 7. Here's equation 7. Seven again. When the flow is subsonic, MA is less than 1. This term is negative. So for subsonic flow, speed decreases as area increases. For supersonic flow, this term is greater than 1. So speed increases as A increases. For a subsonic diffuser, the duct expands. Then speed and Mach number go down. The other variables go up. Subsonic nozzle is the exact opposite. A supersonic nozzle is a diverging duct. Speed and Mach number go up just as they do for the subsonic nozzle. Finally, a supersonic diffuser is a converging duct. Speed and Mach number go down. Compare a subsonic fire hose nozzle. This is a converging duct, and the flow accelerates. A rocket nozzle is a supersonic nozzle. Flow is subsonic, sonic, and then supersonic in this diverging part. Flow continually accelerates. That's why rocket nozzles have expanding ducts, to accelerate the flow. Does that help? Yes, but you went so fast it was like drinking from a fire hose. Well, I recorded it. You can watch it again. Goodbye, Mr. Continuity. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.